What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off, round off what happened last time, uh, we are pushing through the Balkans with a vengeance. We have a significant amount of forces at our disposal and three of these armies will be pushing onwards towards Istanbul and one army may hang around this sort of region to help spar with these forces coming down from the north. But without further, further ado, let's crack on and engage these Ottomans. Having three armies in the field is that they should always be pushing the objective and the others that, are that should be replenishing will be bringing up the rear. That it could work, or well it should work. But the intention now is to kill as many of them as possible and try to experience the least amount of the smallest amount of casualties may not be achievable through sitting in one position because they do have artillery and I may actually steal one more unit of infantry to take to take position here on the left because these two units are enough to fill this gap just so you need to make maximum use of our howitzers and make maximum use of our cavalry. Ah, one lone Swiss line could go on the flank out here as well. So let's group up our cavalry. They have lots of cavalry, including Sipahi, which are quite good armoured lancer units. You want to focus? Where did my how Sars uh, go? Okay, they are on the left. So I want to focus fire lots of quick climb on these fellas because they were pushing towards our lines. My foot artillery can continue their current engagement against these 18 pound foot artillery. They do have mortars, which you need to watch out for. They are on target as well. Blast the Mamelukes with canister shot. Push this wing of men forward on the right towards the mortars to put them under threat. These artillery can blast canister shot in time. You're going to be a bit late, but you're going to both deploy into square. How it says are going to be touched, but they're not actually going to be drawn into combat. Now, we've been charged by Mamelukes, but then again, we are heavy cavalry units, so not overly concerned. Okay, get our foot artillery into battle conventionally. Run our, run our infantry, take our light cavalry on a flanking run to demolish their cavalry. Although you chaps are both going to get down into square formation. This howitzer over here, start to drop line, start to drop artillery on the fellaheen. Semini should fall fairly easily. Push the heavy cavalry up, ready to get into position to start to mow down these enemy formations. These are Sipahi, so they are scary, but they're against Marines. Just make sure they don't lose their square. They should be able to take quite a battering, especially from light cavalry. Charged Fellain in, but then again. <gasps> oh, devastating danger close quick climb. Yeah, 
this unit of marines really paid for that, so you guys just fall back. Push my line up. So we definitely wanted to kill the bombardment mortars. Deploy my heavy cavalry to intercept their heavy cavalry. Go after the gunners. Nizam infantry are a threat, but not too dangerous. Charge the Mamelukes that remain. They've managed to break another of their cavalry units, which is nice. Push up our line. Felina routing, which is nice. So who's back here? Some Nizam infantry is back here. Let's run you guys away to safety. Send these guys to kill as many Feline as they can. Foot artillery. The ones that can shoot hit the Nizam. My infantry, my cavalry, get out of there. The unit that's currently currently uh, attacking. Currently attacking their, um, well, currently in melee mode. Kill them. You guys kill the rifles. You guys need to run up. You guys push up. Get the quick climb all focusing on this Nizam unit here. My light cavalry are chasing down the rifles. Let's deploy the general. Nizam unit is getting shelled. Pivot you guys to face the Feline that's come back from routing. Got German's bodyguard units that start. They haven't picked their guns up yet. You may actually open fire onto the horsemen. You chase down the rifles. You continue to chase down the irregulars. You guys charge the Feline. Hopefully, they will rout. Get the Swiss guards involved. Good, they're wavering. Break, 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 break. Good. You're fine against them. You killed all the rifles. Let's just bring you back. Again, our quick climbing artillery is doing some excellent work. Who's back? Who is back here? You know, Nizam, General's bodyguard. Okay, let's get the cavalry back here just to uh, keep them off balance. Foot artillery. Engage the Nizam to the rear. So you, need, you guys need to run to get into. Uh, she might bring this cavalry up to hit the rifles. So you don't chase down the horsemen. You chase down this unit of line infantry. Just keep nailing them. Okay, you're back. So let's bring you up here, ready. You guys just charge the rifles immediately. Save your ammunition. Because these guys won't stand up to the light infantry. 
Well, they especially not want to get a bunch of quick climb comes in. God damn, quick climb is really backfiring here in this battle for me. Push my, push some infantry up. Come on, kill the last two of these rifles. The general should be more than capable of knocking out the Feline. There he goes. Understandably, my riflemen have routed, so my heavy cavalry are going to chase down this regiment instead. Oh no, now they're just wavering. Can my heavy cavalry just walk then? My other unit is continuing their great work against the 35th Order. So the aim will be to put a unit of marines in range while these other units are on the, uh, the flank. Probably turn the artillery fire off now. Keep my cavalry close. Like you're doing okay against the 35th, but I want you to actually destroy them. Okay, you stay where you are. These guys position. So my marines are up front because they've got the best morale to put up with this damage. Although they are they're supposedly in a bit of a defilade. They can start providing some return fire, but it won't be very good. Let's check on my other unit. Down to nine men. Eight men in this unit. But once the 102nd and the 114th regiments start to fire more flanking fire... I'm actually run my general up here. The 102nd are firing now. Well, they were. To be honest, let's intercept the uh, the general now. He's sufficiently far away from his line. But the 114th should uh, be making merry with the 47th. Although it looks like they're waiting for someone to reload. There they go. Still eight men left in this order because they've spread out. The AI pathfinding really can't handle them. Don't worry, it'll be these men on the flank that do the do the good work. fellas. Yeah, although they're definitely getting away. So let's move these guys back up here. General's been killed. Charge the infantry. Halt fire with you guys. Damn right, continue. This is a completely good, this is a, uh, an entire European style infantry unit. We're not going to give, let that have a, have a free pass to leave the field. Might not be able to kill it because it's so close to the uh, edge of the map, but god damn, we're going to tear the arse out of it. Down to 13 men. But there we go. That was easy.
to support our push. We lost 600 men, they lost 3,000. They cannot sustain that level of loss. So the hope is... Okay, one level of reinforcement isn't going to cut it. But this is why we've got you guys who can push up with him. You need replenishment as well, so that's kind of why you're going to hold back. But these men are ready to push. This guy is replenishing, ready to lay siege to Tripoli. Then once Tripoli is secured, we will then sail east. That's why I want you to get into Cairo to have a look at what's going on. And this army up here is getting replenished. It should be bolstered by Grenadiers recruited from Milan. And we're at 23,000. Okay, hop over to the Americas. No immediate targets, because we're... Oh, no, wait, sorry. I forgot. We were at war with uh, Britain. So this army, the Leeward Islands... Oh, no, you can't actually leave yet, can you? No, because the resistance to foreign occupation is so high. We do have some ships. I'm tempted to use both of my... Well, what rate ship are you? The fifth. So I'm going to use both of my fifths to bottle up their force at Kingston. And let's send this fifth, Pandora, to go scout out Nassau. Blockade the port. So we'll need some port, some new port guards to be recruited here. I need to get uh, Antigua, f Antigua fixed. Do you have a, we do have a shipyard, it's in Cuba. Your old trade ports. So let's knock this fella down. But I want to get this army re repaired, rebuilt. Rebuilt. And probably not, maybe... Maybe not actually attack them, because they've got a, a lot of chaff. Especially here, three stacks. Hey, Ottoman territory up here. It's in Rupert's land. Or, I could sail an army... Once I've taken Istanbul, through here and try and land and hit Tbilisi. It's an option. Um, but we're going to need to hit N10 and watch the uh, the money come in. Or hope the money comes in anyway. And I want the Prussians to keep pushing the Ottomans. So we repelled them at Venice. We've got a large force in the Balkans pushing up. They can't really afford to ignore those threats. They've got the Ottomans also pushing up. They do have a big fleet there that I can't stop because my fleet is not adequate. I'm completely okay with these fellas raiding. It'll probably be a strategic imperative to continue We've got a garrison in Athens. The Russians are The Russian navy's moved back up into the Black Sea, which is nice. The Swedish are on the march. But I suspect we will only get a few turns respite before they uh, they turn on us. And in that in that instance, our goal will be to hold on to hold on to Paris. Just withstand won't be to push the Swedish out, it will be to hold until we can actually do some of our other enemies. So let's get our rake onto this ship. Land in Calais. Send our agent to near Amsterdam. Because some of these regions are so small it's not really worth having them infiltrate. Port blockaded, port of pay, that's understandable. Okay, let's spend some money on repairing this fella. Upgrading the, the port. Probably roads as well. Yep, and get some sugar going. Hop back to Europe. So. You are being fully replenished and will stand here. You need to be fully replenished. This army will push up. With you in the rear. You can't get all the way into to Istanbul. 
But it might not be a bad idea to attack them again, because we've got this uh, example of them needing to feed reinforcements in to defend the town. But we will want a howitzer heavy force to thin them out. And to be honest, we could probably do with heavier howitzers like these guys being brought into the mix. But for now, what I want to do is... Check out my port. Two more second rates are joining the fleet, so let's add on two firsts to join them. And that's 6,000, that's a lot of money. Build a steam engine factory here in Patras and upgrade the farm as well, because you may as well. You're replenishing, you are fully replenished. You put Tripoli um, under siege and see if you can provoke them to assault. Put this militia unit, not quite sure where. I mean, there's no point in you putting going into Tunis, so I might just disband you. So you're moving up to Paris, as are you. Could probably do with probably this sloop occupying Brest, just to make sure we don't have any potential axis of attack through there. Could probably do with expanding this navy, really, and repairing this trade port, repairing this place of the state. Paris isn't firing on all cylinders, but it's doing okay. So lots of upgrades, especially Cuba. And obviously this is one thing we need to do. Build two buccaneers to go and occupy the ports because they'll probably get raided. And if they do, that's okay. It's so your being replenished. Your being replenished. Grenadiers. March them up to Mr. Venturi. So let's pull this unit of marines out and probably. This half strength unit of line infantry. So they'll sit in this army behind the lines and re retrain while my grenadiers go in instead. How's our research going? Four turns to classical economics. Good stuff. Um, hmm. Can't really do any, any more economic techs. Never really, don't really like using rockets. The upkeep for shrapnel units isn't great. Especially both of these increase our upkeep for artillery units. It reduces loading time. Hmm. I suppose you probably... I don't know. Platoon firing is not bad to gain the extra administration bonuses to your army. To your army administrator and the increased train level is good let's check my ministers actually see if you've got any really high flyers so really i'm looking for a guy who's good at the justice so this goes plus five army but our army goes pretty good although he does make the unhappy lower classes Worse, but he's a crimper, which reduces our recruitment cost for infantry, so that's pretty handy. Hmm. Honest plus one management. So at the very least, this guy does make some people happy. Like this guy is... He's just a... He, you know... Four star, a four star minister, at best, and this guy, even though he's also four star, he at least gets a middle class happiness boost and nobility happiness boost. So, not really bothered by changing them too much in either direction. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to hit and turn and see what happens.
there's not really a lot Britain can do. Um, once I've knocked out, once I've knocked out, uh, oh, actually one of their armies has run around us, but that's good. We've got an army defending Athens, so I'm not concerned about that. But what I will want to do is send a, send my armies onward to Istanbul, because one of them will need to garrison the territory. Oh, forces are pulling out of Egypt. I do need to get my rake that's in Italy to start trying to kill those scholars. So they're gathering their forces again for a similar style attack, I would wager. New Spain is going to clear out the pirates. Thank you, New Spain. Thank God they're obsessed with So let's hop up to the Americas. These barbarians, they can't get all the way down to uh, the trade port themselves yet. Spend some money getting more goods out to trade. Because they've not hit their limit yet. Oh, they have. I don't want to upgrade this yet because it could get raided. Hop back to Europe again. Like I said, Europe is where all the, the stress is. See, you're very poor. Growing. Ten grand, though. That's quite a lot of money. So I might get this commercial port as it's a bit cheaper. I'm looking at taking out Naples, uh, uh, taking out the Knights of St. John, but the problem is they might have some, yeah, annoying friends. Dagestan. Which has a whole load of annoying protectorates. Even Prussia. But then again, I suppose Prussia is uh, a tiny nation and their best defence is to ally with a confederacy of other states, I suppose. Our army here is completely up to... Oh no, this last guy is still a bit depleted, but I might throw these guys into the breach at Istanbul. Which means here... I want to rebuild. I'll probably fall you guys back to this centre or central point here. They can go around here and attack, but I don't think they will. Okay, let's get this sloop in to raid Thessaloniki. Let's get this sloop in to raid Izmir. Get this brig to go raid Anatalia. Antalia. Just do a little uh, raiding spree along their coast. There we go. At the very least, they give it. They give us intel. Then I sell you up. Actually, no. Am I at war with Russia still? Yes. Okay. So if I li if I leave those tr this ship these ships here, they will get attacked by the Russians, which is another incentive to uh, grow my naval forces. So let's add on. We can recruit fifths, but I don't really want fifths. So I can recruit a third. Keep growing this navy because when it's ready. I was about to say when it's ready. Um, I'm probably just going to storm them, I suppose. Let's see if I'm located. Cuba needs better roads. Next turn it'll get a better port to allow the export of more goods. But the towns are growing nicely. Three turns till we get classical economics, which is great. Two turns till we get secular humanism, which again helps in the happiness and rest perspective, and it just provides a flat town wealth boost and it also allows the building of the Royal Academy which is probably in room. Increased tech research rate, happiness across the board, lower class especially is incredibly helpful for us as an absolute monarchy and plus 12 per turn in town wealth growth which is huge. And look at Naples is just Naples is earning 20 grand or well, it's, it's, it's currently producing 20 grand it's not earning 20 grand. No 
where's my rake? Here he is. Try to take out this agent here. Nope. Okay, sit on the bridge. Definitely. See if you can at least block them from having as easy runs in and out. They can still go over here, but meh. But the big show. The big show. What I might do is a bit of a... No, actually don't spend any money. Need it to rebuild. You're probably okay for attack duties. I would probably like another howitzer. So let's take out what kind of forts, walls have you got? Improve level two. Okay, let's take a unit of line out of this chap's army, place it with howitzers so he leads the way. So what kind of garrison did they get? Only one more team, that's really good. March you guys up. March you guys up. So right now that leaves this guy in a bit of a pickle. Because he won't be able to... Like, we are going to attack this city. He can't respond. He can't respond. It puts a lot of stress on this guy. But the army here is pretty pants. I can probably grow one in Athens to help push some of these smaller stacks out. Then we'll have five armies in this region. But maybe, to be honest, if I attack and take uh, Istanbul, Istanbul's a fairly wealthy region. Uh, but then we can start to push north and then uh, relieve, relieve the, the pressure on Venice and they may even be able to push east into Zagreb. And I'd also like this fella to lay some eggs. So I will probably attack this, attack Istanbul, then later I will... Well, no, to be honest, there's lots of British troops. But we've got good howitzers. I mean, we've got a more cavalry than I'd like. Okay, we'll probably attack Tripoli as well. And then when I attack Tripoli, I will try and make another peace with Britain just to get me them to leave me the hell alone. But, star of the show is the assault on Istanbul. And what you can actually see is that the first army that comes in is going to have depleted supports, as well the second. So I will lean heavily on my experiences in attacking London with multiple stack supporting armies. Sometimes they're easy to storm, sometimes they're not. This one I'll probably take my time and kill as many of them as possible as I march my base closer up to the fort. That'll probably be what I do. I don't think I'm going to be able to storm in and capture it easily. Um, but when we start to whittle down the units down to this sort of level, that's when we'll start to have some of these not so good units coming in, like lighter units. But yeah, should be pretty fun. So how many is it? Roughly 9,000 attackers, probably 8,500 against... 12-ish thousand defenders but lots of these are mobs we've been very fortunate in the garrison to only get one mortar to worry about but this should be fun but looking at the timer it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the assault on Istanbul cheers everyone